dog is so cute! Oh, wow. So today we are going to check out a band called Black Sabbath and a song they did called Paranoid. It's apparently one of their most well-known songs. Now, I know Black Sabbath because Ozzy Osbourne. However, the very limited amount of knowledge I have of Ozzy Osbourne is more of him as a meme. I shouldn't be drinking alcohol, period. I'm so sorry if that offends anybody who's heavily into Black Sabbath, but you don't know what you don't know. I am not musically educated, it's not something I'm proud of, but we're learning things together. I bet I know things you don't know. Probably about movies. I know a lot about movies. Before getting into the video, do be sure to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of me. And as ever, these videos get copyright claims, so if you want to help me out with that, check out my Patreon or channel membership. Forfeit one of your beards this month to support the channel. Black Sabbath were an English rock band. They're all English. All these legendary rock bands are English. Formed in Birmingham in 16... no. In 1968 by guitarist Tony Lomi, drummer Bill Ward, bassist Geezer Butler and vocalist Ozzy Osbourne. They are often cited as pioneers of heavy metal music. The band helped define the genre with releases such as Black Sabbath, Paranoid and Master of Reality. Heavy metal. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't dipped the toe in the water of heavy metal much. This is going to be interesting. I really like soft rock from the 80s. Ozzy, really young. I'm liking the lyrics, but simultaneously the lyrics sort of sound like, you know, a little a little kid rhymed them. The, the tune is like rocking. But there's this like juxtaposition between Ozzy being like kind of childish in his lyricism versus the heavy music. suggest this song is about a man who's paranoid. The driving guitar and bass creates nervous energy to go along with Osby Osbourne's 
Ozzy Osbourne's. Desperate vocal. Black Sabbath bassist Geezer Butler, who wrote the lyrics, oh, okay, Ozzy didn't write them. Explain the song's meaning to Mojo Magazine. Basically, it's just about depression because I didn't really know the difference between t- depression and paranoia. It's a drug thing. When you're smoking a sandwich, you get totally paranoid about people. You can't relate to people. There's that crossover between paranoia you get when you're smoking and the depression afterwards. Oh, wow. I like that but I didn't love it. I liked Ozzy's hair, his layers were super cool. If it came on in club, I would definitely dance to it, but I don't go to clubs, so. That was cool, and I could see it being like in the back of loads of songs. It probably inspired a lot of rock. It's called heavy rock. I didn't, I don't know if I felt like it was heavy, but I mean, I guess it was, because that's what it's defined as. Ah, poor Ozzy. Final Destination's been after him for a while, but um, he's still rocking, so that's good. That's it for today, see you guys on the other side, bye. What? Oh, you're waiting for bloopers, no. She didn't make any mistakes. She's perfect.